Hey friends, Practical Ken here. I am excited right now. Got Ace from Swing for the Ring and Jeff's Obsessions. Jeff from Jeff's Obsessions. They are already out here hunting. Uh, it took me a little while to get the, my gear ready. I've got the Manicore with the M8 coil, which is a smaller coil. And we are at the, the old farm site, 1922 and older. And uh, this is where they dumped a bunch of trash from hotels and restaurants and little stores and a variety of different uh, little shops and stuff. And we're finding amazing things in each hole, which is spectacular, actually. You just never know what you're going to find. Uh, we find bottles. Obviously, you can't pick them up with a metal detector, but in the hole, we're finding little bottles, little pill bottles, little medicine bottles, little cool things like that that, uh, that we are not really expecting. Kind of expected out here, I guess. But... Uh, Amazing things in the hole, about a foot, about a foot and a half to a foot deep, uh, layered over the years. So let's we'll see what we can find. Every day we come out here in Melody Tech is a surprise. So I'm looking forward to sharing what we find. And if you see this intro, that means we found something cool. So wish us luck. <laughs> yes. What did Daddy find? Uh, look at that. That's whoa, well, whoop! You lost it. Oh, there it is. Where to go? There it is. A token. We found a token. Whoa. We got treasure. Look at that. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. Treasure. Yeah, we found something. Woo. Woo. <laughs> All right. Good job. Looks like we might have something here right in a cluster of other pieces of metal here. So let's see what this is. Kind of hot. Okay, we dug quite a bit of hole. Uh -oh. oh, they found something. It's a relic. Nice. Light. Oh, we're gonna see this. Those little lights. Uh, oh yeah, a fuse, old fuse. Fuse, there you go. Yeah, awesome. Look at that. Whoa. Oop, they dropped it. There you go. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Seen one of those, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I see that, that's amazing. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> All right. yeah. Love it. Yeah. some relics. Here we go. Uh, the ch signal changed quite a bit when I was digging the hole. I kept swinging over it and checking things, but uh, end up with a uh, mason jar lid. It was probably that was really deep too. That was probably 12 inches down. Uh, had in mixed in there a rusty bottle cap. We got bone. We got. Oh, come on, hold on. An oyster shell. So we got, uh, you know, garbage, miscellaneous stuff. So no uh, treasure in the hole. What do you find? What? What is this? What is that? What is that? Is that more treasure? Yeah. Can you say thimble? Thimble. It's a thimble. Whoa, it's so cool. It is. That is really cool. Is that awesome? So cool. It's so awesome. Yeah. Bump it. Here we go. Good yeah. job. Big spread. 76 to 80 something. Kind of deep. Not a perfect shape, but worthy of digging. So let's dig it. Okay, we got a one of those bonus holes. Uh, the high signal was the mason jar lid. We ended up having a uh, old nail bent nail in there some porcelain i think there's some bone that came out too but uh that was a high tone probably a nice flat surface uh the spread was pretty big you know it was like 74 76 to 80 something normally i would only have like one or two numbers off if it's like a coin or something that's kind of a of the same material so uh we'll keep digging see what we can find big spread in numbers but we have uh Typically of this location, we had multiple metals in the hole. So it could be iron, could be brass, you name it, aluminum. So it could be a good target mixed with something else. So we're going to dig it since it's repeatable. Got it out of the plug. What's well, in the plug? Let's see what it is. Oh, we found it. There it is. It's uh, part of a door latch or a cabinet latch. Look at that. Probably a door cabinet. Look at how beveled that is right there. I don't know if you can see it, uh, if we can get some sun, there we go. See how it doubled? 
So this has been against the door cabinet. This would have been a latch or a lock would have came up through there. Uh, actually, the latch would have been here, would have come up this ramp and latched into there. So it's kind of cool. This is something that uh, one of our, probably Jeff uh, put it in one of our little relic areas where we put a pile of stuff so we could come back out with a five gallon bucket and remove it. So it's kind of cool to watch, pocket watch part, and this looks like a gear, possibly, too. Maybe part of the watch, maybe not. But cool, these are some of the things that we're finding. Love that stuff. Okay, here we go. 60-something. 59, 60, 61. Let's see what it is. And there we are. Mason jar lid. We find these out here like we find pull tabs in the park. And in the hole, we got some porcelain. The green line on it. I think I would normally say Thompson's on the bottom. We found a lot of that here too, so cool. Find the stuff. Friends, I took in here. We are out at the, the old farm site, 1922 and older. Uh, I'm out here with Jeff's obsessions, if you can see him. Hopefully this works. I'm using my, my phone to film this uh, this hunt today, along with my chest mount here. Let's see if this works out. Um, it's cold. It's uh, like 30 some degrees, but the wind chill is bringing it down to the teens. Um, I got two jackets on, light jackets on and it's blowing right through. Uh, hopefully when we get back in the woods, it'll be a little bit warmer. So, uh, Jeff is uh, after something here. We'll see what it is. Uh, wish us luck. So I ended up with a 40s signal, uh, repeatable 40s signal, and dug down and got this. I don't know if you know what that is, but uh, this is the top of a bottle. And let me get this to focus. This piece here we find a lot of. That's uh, it's like a pull tab of a hundred years ago. This would be on top of a bottle. You pull this and you pull it off and pull off the cap. So this is like your your pull tab of early 1900s, but this one's still attached. So we find a lot of these little discs like this that sound like coins. They come out looking like coins immediately until you pick them up and realize how thin they are. We find a lot of these all over the place. So. But that's what we got. Huh. That's worth seeing what it is. We'll see what we got. Okay, we just got it here. Not sure what it is, but look at that. We can see the edges there. Let's see what it is. Ah, it's a cap. I thought it was jewelry. But uh, it's going to be probably a Durkee's cap, maybe. Yeah, there's the glove. There's the iron glove there. It says Durkee's and Company across the top, New York. Uh, we find a lot of these, but man, look at that edge. It makes you think that it would be something fancy like a locket or something. But that's still a potential, so we'll keep looking around. Okay, I got kind of a broken signal. It was in the, it was actually in the 90s, but really deep. You know, we're talking, yeah, it's pretty deep. So we scanned over it, uh, kept digging. Finally decided to use the hand shovel and pulled this out. Check this out. Got an old buckle. Oop, it's just coming apart right there. The centerpiece is gone, but that was a screamer actually. But uh, we got ourselves a relic. Let's keep on looking for more. Getting 85 to 88, 91. Not a perfect shape on the screen, but usually there's a bunch of other junk in with the target, so we'll see what it is. Okay, so we got a little bit of bone in here, but we also have this. Okay, so it's not necessarily a compact. What is it? Is there writing on it? Sorry, didn't have it centered. Huh. Might be some writing on it, but uh, it's a cap. Some sort. Screamer.
got quite a variety signal here. Uh, it was all over the place and then adjusted the sensitivity and was able to narrow down a little spot here. It was kind of a mix of high tones in the 80s down to the non-ferrous or ferrous areas too. So we end up with a big old handle, broke handle, or a serving spoon or a fork or something, but found it. So I ended up uh, getting a target in the 40s. It was repeatable. It was in a little bit of brushy area here that's hard to swing a coil. Uh, so I thought I'd investigate. So in this, we have, looks like a bit of tile or charcoal, bone, oyster shell, and our target, which I'm not quite sure what that is, but it could be part of a pocket watch. The inner part of the of a pocket watch with the frame or something. What do you think that is? Feels, feels like it's brass. So that's what we got. Pretty high 60s, low 70s, so jumped up to 80s. So it's got me curious. We're gonna see what it is. Well, we end up with a uh, high tone, high 60s, low 70s, popped up to 80s. And then this is what we got. We end up with some porcelain. And then this. It's like the top to a... to a something. Oh, well, it's pretty fancy. Looks like there may have been a handle right here. Possibly with a hole in it. But it's in pretty bad shape right now. I don't think we can refurbish that. But, uh, you know, at some point it must have had some gold gilding to it. So it looked pretty fancy. But uh, there it is. Found it. It's not a mason jar lid, so that's good. Okay, I just got a target here that I already dug up. And we're going we're gonna to go for it. Why not? So we ended up with uh, this here. It looks almost like talcum powder. It's got an oval, kind of an oval shaped uh, top with uh, little holes right there for shaking something out. So found it. This is a little weird. I thought it might have been a mason jar lid, but I'm not quite sure what this is. It says something all jelly glass. So I'm not sure what that is. Look at the thin lip on it. So uh, what do you think that is? What do you think it's supposed to say? It would be 1922 and older. It's stamped in the cap there. Whoa! Treasure! Yeah, we found something! Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right. Good job. What is it? It's treasure! All right! <laughs> yeah. Love it! That was a good one! Oh, it's so awesome! Yeah! Woo! Bump it! Here we go. Good yeah. job.